Welcome, welcome to yet another video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today, my friend. I know like I know that today you are going to be blessed even as we pray together. Today I want to pray for you powerful prayers so that God will boost up your faith, so that God will reinforce your faith, so that God will remove any evil that might be holding you back and causing you to be in doubt. You know, my friends, recently I discovered that there are demons that cause doubt. There are demons that specify, they specialize in uh, causing people to doubt. They specialize in causing you to doubt so that you can abort your miracle. God has been so amazing. God has been so wonderful. And even today, right now, um, directly after I finish recording this, I'm going to go and start preparing because I'm going to broadcast tonight. And um, I'll be speaking to the whole city and surrounding cities on radio. Um, so I know like I know that God is going to move mightily. Today I'm going to be taking my reading from the book of James chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. And uh, I found a different translation and I really like this translation. Uh, I believe it's the amplified version but the classical edition. And this is what it says from verse 6. It says only it must be in faith that he asks with no wavering. No hesitating, no doubting. For the one who wavers, hesitates, doubts, is like the billowing surge at the sea that is blown hither and and thither and tossed by the wind. Verse 7, For truly, let not such a person imagine that he will receive anything he asks for from the Lord. My friend, I want to tell you something. I've prayed for many people. I've prayed for many, many, many people. Some have received their miracles, some haven't. And what I've learned, my friend, over the past few years of doing this is that the people who received were people who had set their minds, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to believe. No matter what, I'm not going to give up. No matter what, I'm pressing through. I'm not going to be blown and tossed by the wind. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm not going to doubt. God is my only option. Once you come to that place, it's guaranteed that you'll receive your miracle. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's, it's guaranteed you will receive a miracle because that is faith. Faith is unwavering. And you know, I've done studies, my friend. I've done studies into how the ancient Hebrews, you know, the ancient uh, Israeli people defined faith. And usually what happened is in all of those studies, I found the word unwavering, unwavering, meaning you're fixed. You fixed. You believe that God is going to do this no matter what you believe that God is going to come through for you and you're fixed no matter what happens on the outside. Because can I tell you something, my friends? Let me tell you something that a lot of pastors and a lot of ministers are afraid to do so. But I'm not afraid to do so because I've had many encounters with Jesus. I've had many encounters with the spiritual realm. I've had many encounters with angels and different things. I've seen manifestations of miracles. I hear when God speaks to me. I've got the prophetic gifting. Although I've been ordained as an evangelist, I've got the prophetic gifting. I've been hearing God speak to me for a very long time. And I believe every born again believer, every child of God can. But you have to press through, you have to press in. But let me tell you something, my friend. Let me tell you something, my friend. You know where you always see me shooting at the fields? You see me going out into this place where it's open, where I can pray? There was once when I was praying. And I was so deep in prayer, I had pressed in so deep and you know, it was, it was, it was very quiet over there by the fields. I, was, I believe I was the only one there. And as I pressed in, I was in my car and I was just praying, praying, praying. And all of a sudden, it's almost like this physical picture that we see, it just peeled away. And I saw behind the scenes and I heard an angel say that nothing happens in this physical realm unless it first happens in the spiritual realm meaning that all these things that we see it's almost like it's a result of what's already happened before it's already happened before and this is how people can prophesy people can prophesy and tell you this is going to happen because in the spiritual realm it's already happened and then it needs to manifest into this physical realm so even as you believe i want you to know that if you doubt the whole time chances are you're not going to receive your miracle chances are what you're believing for won't come through but the others the opposite will come through but if you believe and you set your mind and say i'm going to believe in god no matter what 
then you will receive your miracle. I guarantee you that. Now, someone might ask, but Gabriel, I'm struggling. I keep on getting thoughts of doubt. And um, there's a solution to that, my friend. There's a big, big, big solution so that you can receive your miracle. And it comes from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And you know, many times people just read scriptures to read them and they pass over the revelation. But this is truly the revelation. If you want to be fixed and unwavering in your faith, this is what you need to do. It says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is fair, whatever is pure, whatever is acceptable, whatever is commendable, if there is anything of excellence and if there is anything praiseworthy, keep thinking about these things. The key sentence over there in this translation is keep thinking about these things. If you think doubt, you're going to doubt. If you think faith, you're going to have faith. Whatever you allow into your mind, whatever you allow yourself to think, can ponder upon and focus and meditate on, that will, if sooner, sooner enough, it will fill your body. You'll start to, your whole self will be believing in that. And this is in line with the teachings of the Messiah. So my friends, this is how you believe. You have to believe in Jesus and he will surely come through for you. He will surely, surely, surely come through for you. You just have to set your mind that no matter what, no matter what, I'm going to believe. Don't even let the outside, because this outside realm is just a result of what happened already in the spiritual realm. And you can actually change this by believing in God. Because once you believe in God, you give God room to actually come into your life and change things. And you know, the funny thing, my friends, is a lot of people, they've taken the doctrine of faith and they've whopped it, they've turned it around to try and make it without God, without Jesus. This can't work without God and without Jesus. You have to believe in God. You have to believe in Jesus. You have to be unwavering in it. You know, even as you do more research, and I encourage you to do so, go and do research on what faith is. Believe and know what faith is. You need to know in your heart. You know, a lot of people say, I have faith, I have faith, I have faith, but they don't even know what the word faith means. You need to know what faith means in order for you to operate in it. So begin to do that. I encourage you, do some research. Learn what faith is. As a child of God, equip yourself to move at a higher level. And even as you do that, God will surely bless you. In saying that, my friend, I want to go into a time of prayer. Are you ready? I'm going to pray with you and for you, even as the Spirit leads me. And God will surely bless you. God will bless you if you believe. Let us begin. Take your cell phone, take your device, go somewhere private where you can just seek God, where you can just pray and press in and touch the hem of his garment. And then your blessing will come down. Are you ready? Let's begin. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the all-consuming fire, my God in whom I trust. I will trust in you, God, at all times. I will trust in you. I will have faith in you. I will believe in you at all times. Thank you, Lord, for this time when myself and my dear friend who's watching this video can come through and talk to you and spend time with you. Father, thank you for your gracing. Thank you for your divine mandate. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came and died for us to restore us back to you, to pay the price for our sins, to pay the price for our wrongs, so that we could be brought back to you. And thank you, Lord, that he rose again in accordance with the scriptures, in accordance with the prophecies that were given thousands and thousands of years before. He rose again on the third day so that we could have life and life more abundantly. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you not only reconciled us back to God, but you gave us life and life more abundantly. We thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus, the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle is in the hands of the one who has already won. Lord Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Precious Holy Spirit, you are here and I give you glory. I already discern your presence. You are here, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will come and take over less of me and more of you. And Lord, I pray that you will take over even in the place where my dear friend is watching because distance and time is never a barrier for you, Lord. Lord, no matter when my dear friend watches this video no matter where my dear friend watches this video i know that you are infinite and you are beyond impossibility and you can touch my dear friend lord i pray even today as i come to you and i pray with my dear friend for a boost of faith 
Lord, give divine revelation, divine revelation knowledge in the life of my dear friend, that my friend will be able to believe and to trust at the level that they need to in order to walk a victorious life. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you, Lord, for it. Amen. My friend, the presence and the power of God is here. It is here so strongly and God has been so good to us. My friend, let's look at the widow in the Bible. Jesus told a parable about a widow who kept on going to the judge, kept on going to the judge so many times until the judge became irritated. And the judge said, finally, because she just keeps on coming, I'm going to give her what she wants. It's the same thing with God. Sometimes we keep on going to God. We should just keep on, keep on, keep on persisting. Keep on knocking at the door of prayer. Knock, 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 knock until the door is open for you. Don't give up. A lot of people, what they do is they give up at the point when they're about to receive their visitation. At the point where they just get in. Some, some people get in. They actually get in and they're just touching the tip of the iceberg. They're just enjoying the tip of the presence that is available. And they give up and they say, okay, I've done my prayer time for today. No, get in, go deeper. My friends, I encourage you, don't even limit it to just a prayer time. There's something, there's a, there's a phrase that I want to coin and I want to send this around the world. I want to send this to the ends of the world. A constant presence lifestyle. A constant presence lifestyle. Being in a place where you're constantly in commune and fellowship with God. No matter what happens, maybe something goes wrong and you talk to the Lord in real time and you say, Lord, look at this. Look what happened over here. The devil thinks he's going to move me, but he's not going to move me. I'm going to stay fixed in my belief that I'm going through and I'm going to receive from you. You even laugh. Sometimes you reach a level where something bad may happen and you and the Lord, because you're in constant fellowship, you'll laugh at that situation because you know that the Lord is stronger. You know that your Bible says, greater is he that is within me than he that's in the world. You know that your Bible says that God is stronger. And you know your Bible says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And you know, with the, 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 the prophet, the prophet uh, Elijah, when he was listening for the voice of God, and there are so many things happened. You know, there was, there, was, there was fire, there was all these things that happened, even thunder. But God's voice was in the whisper. And that whisper is stronger than the violent manifestations that happen outside. Just know that. Get into that level where you can constantly fellowship with God and you shall surely receive your breakthrough. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you so that God can touch you. Are you ready? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will touch my dear friend. Take my dear friend to another level in you, Lord. Lord, you made it so that I've even been ordained twice, Lord, and I'm even getting a third confirmation from more men of God. Lord, with this authority that you've placed on my life, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will remove whatever is causing them to doubt. Whatever that thing might be that's causing them to be in a place of doubt, remove that out of their life. I pray this in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray whatever situations, whatever issues, whatever things are coming up and sowing seeds of doubt into my friend, mine, my dear friend who's watching this video's mind. Lord, I pray that you will remove those things in the name of Jesus. Let my dear friend who's watching this video trust and believe. Lord, because we know this is not just an empty religion. This is a real relationship with the living God, the God who speaks and he lives. Lord, I pray that you'll come through mightily. Lord, you said whatsoever you desire, ask in my name and it shall be given unto you. Today, Lord, we desire faith. We desire faith to believe in you. Supernatural faith, divine supernatural faith. Lord, I pray for my dear friend and I ask in your name with the authority that you've placed on my life, Lord, I ask in your name that you will give my dear friend who's watching this video divine supernatural strength in the name of Jesus, in the mighty 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 name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. My friend, I know like I know that God will do something and God will touch you but there's something we need to deal with and the Holy Spirit keeps tugging on my heart and reminding me. There's these certain evil spirits that cause doubt. They cause doubt in your life 
and they must be removed, they must be dealt with. They must be taken out of the equation so that you can move on another level, so that you can move on another spiritual plane. Are you ready, my friend? So right now, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every evil spirit of doubt, evil spirits that specialize in causing doubt. I command you to leave, my dear friend who's watching this video. I command you to leave and never come back in the name of Jesus. We drive you out. I drive you out by fire and by force with the power in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. And right now, I pray for open heaven. Open heaven over my dear friend. Lord, I pray, Father God Almighty, let there be an open heaven, a place where angels, your holy angels can ascend and descend over the life of my dear friend so that they can bring blessing after blessing so that all the blessings that come from you will not be kept, will not be held back, but they will come freely in the name of Jesus. Wherever there's any evil spirit that's caused doubt, that's caused things to be locked up in the life of my dear friend, that's caused life to be hard, that's caused my friend to lose hope, Lord, I pray for strength against those things, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke those evil spirits right now. You evil spirit, wherever you are, let the fire of God find you and roast you now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God find you and roast you now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare according to Job 22, 28, your time is up. Your time is up. Now is the time for Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare this deliverance is permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are delivered, you are set free, and you are blessed in the name of Jesus. If you are blessed by these videos and you would like to give a seed, feel free to do so. The link is in the description. All the seeds and the money that comes in goes towards the work of the gospel. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, it brings us to the end of the video. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.